Hey, what is up everyone? Thank you so much for watching this video. Today in this video, I'm going to teach you three ways to mirror your iPhone to your TV. Now, to be honest, the, the only reason uh, the video is going to be long is because I really want to explain in detail and um, uh, I hope that it should work at the end. And by the way, before I freeze myself, I need to get in. Alright, so... Uh, I really apologize in advance because the video is really really long but I really want to make sure that at the end you get the results that you want because there are tons of people who have or who are really having problems uh, they uh, they uh, I, I read uh, I uh, usually read comments I read comments uh, every day and honestly I don't think people are having a good time with my videos I'm gonna be honest here Alright, so I, I'm going to be uh, teaching you three ways to do it. Uh, so each way has its own difficulty, but it has its own perks. So the first way, uh, we'll be going to, into like, uh, the first way would be like a medium to high, and then it would be like easy, and then it would be like uh, hard. So the first way, uh, before we get actually into it, just make sure you have like uh, internet connectivity. Now, uh, there are tons of people who are having problems with this uh, option right now, uh, right here. Because I, I get it, I get it. Uh, you don't want to have internet connection, but trust me, if I if I take out the ethernet cable from my router, it, this would still work. So at the end, if you think that you need internet connection, no, you're wrong. All you need is some kind of medium, some kind of router, some kind of like internet connection, Wi-Fi connection, to, like just the medium. We're not using cable, so we need some kind of medium to connect to, right? So yeah, anyways. So the first uh, method would be uh, using a app called Zender. Now it's a re uh, it's a free app. It has it's a really really good. I use it. I use uh, these apps on daily basis. So yeah, it's really easy and simple. Alright, so follow my lead. Once you download the app and open the app, it will show you this kind of interface. It will show you the pictures, your audio files, or even your video files, and also documents. By the way, so in this case, this is showing my uh, pictures and my like. It's this is my gallery, right? So uh, if I open the picture, it will show me that this is a picture. But well. You have nothing to do here anyway. This is just the interface to show you that this uh, this is your gallery and uh, this is like the data you have on your phone that will be uh, synced to your uh, TV or any other device that you want. So at the end you will see an option called me. So when you click on it, it will show you that you need to connect to PC or connect other smartphone type. So all you have to do is connect PC. Now when you click on it, and if, if you don't have internet connection on your phone or any Wi-Fi connection, this will show you just a simple web address will, which will do nothing to be honest. Anyways, so once you turn on the Wi-Fi and uh, do the same step again, it will show you an IP address. So uh, now you might be asking why is that? Well, to be honest, the uh, internet connection right now, I have internet connection by the way. But if you don't have Ethernet connection, like Ethernet cable in your router, this will still work because this is like offline LAN that we're working on, right? This is LAN, not WAN, like a local area network instead of wide area network. So we're using LAN at the moment. So yeah, okay, you can see the router name on my top of uh, phone. It says Rizzy Super. That's my name. That's my router name. So once you connect your Wi-Fi router to your mobile, it will show you in a different IP address. Now this is your local, this is your local IP address that's showing you. It's uh, it's more like, uh, have you ever like uh, accessed your router or something? Anyways, so uh, once you uh, once you get the IP address, you have to do nothing. On your TV, uh, this is, uh, I'm using Samsung uh, 40 something, I don't remember. Anyways, uh, go to your uh, Samsung settings and go to your, uh, go to your network settings. I, uh, yeah, I really apologize because I won't be connecting my network again, but all you have to do is go to network settings and uh, type a password of your Wi-Fi password, I mean, you know, uh, once you do that, uh, it will show you that it's connected, but uh, since I have already done that, it will show me that uh, I am connected to internet, alright? So once you're connected to the internet, you can also disconnect and try again if it's not working, sometimes it won't. Anyways, once the uh, once your TV is connected to your uh, internet, I mean the router, uh, that's that's all you need to know. After that, go to your smart hub and open your smart hub. Now this is really important. So you need to have a TV that supports wife uh, internet browsing, right? 
I'm not asking you to connect your TV to your Wi-Fi actually, but in this case, since I have a Wi-Fi connection at the back, this will connect to Google. So once you have the Google, just type the uh, IP address in the web address bar. So I'm gonna just type it really quick, so you won't be like, um, you don't have to follow the step. Your uh, your IP will be different, so I'm sure. Anyways, it will take a few seconds, but you need to type exact same address on your phone to your TV. It should be like 192.168.1.105 and then you have port. The port is like 33, uh, double, uh, 33, 4, uh, 55. It's like a local port for Xander. That's the port that it works on. So I'm gonna type my IP address really quick so you just, you don't have to wait. Also, as I said again, you don't need internet connection to type the IP address since it's local. It's uh, it's not internet uh, worldwide. It's local. You're uh, you're working on your uh, local area network. So yeah, all you have to do is type your IP address and we'll connect. In fact, if I if I if I say so myself, if you work on local, it will be faster than the uh, wide area network. Like if you were using internet connection, it will be slow. But if you're using the uh, local area connect, you don't have to worry about any software updates or anything, or even the uh, website itself. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna just type really quick. I'm using a remote control button, so you won't be seeing the I'm um, typing numbers using you know like drag and drop or something like that. Oh, missed the uh, one. Hold on. One oh five, and then I have to enter the port. The the port is really important. Uh, it's the only. It's the actual. It's actually the only thing that lets you connect to your uh, device. Now it can be anything. To be honest, the Zender app is available for Android too. So if you follow the same step, it will work for Android too. I don't know about the Android interface, but uh, it should be it should be similar. But since I'm using iPhone 10, so you might be wondering about the buttons and stuff. I don't know much about it anyways. So once you uh, put the IP address correctly, it will ask you for your permission on your uh, on your phone. So nobody uh, else can access it. So all you have to do is like accept the, uh, in, uh, accept the invitation and we'll show you that your uh, phone. And we'll let you access your phone. It will take a few seconds by the way, it's really slow. Once you're in... I will show you that your uh, your iPhone uh, name, your iOS version, your space, and everything, literally. So yeah, you can access video files, audio files, even documents, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So in this case, I'm going to show you my gallery and uh, how you can view pictures and stuff. Oh, this is, by the way, like really uh, simple and yet like really elegant way to show off your uh, stuff to other people, or if you're like in a family hall or somewhere you want to show your uh, pictures to someone or anyone li literally uh, you can follow this method by the way so this method is kind of hard I get it I get it it's really hard for some people that you know typing IP addresses and stuff but don't worry about it uh, the second method that we're gonna try after this one will be really really cool it will be really simple to try you on but since uh, we have like a learn uh, all new methods so yeah by the way once you click on the gallery it might not work the first time so you have to move a little bit like go home and go back to gallery once you click the gallery it will show you all your pictures and uh, you can view the pictures you can download the pictures if your uh, tv supports your downloads and uh yeah you can like uh, full screen the pictures and view the view them like slight like a slideshow and stuff so yeah that's really handy uh, by the way, you can see the download icon on your left. Uh, so if you, your TV supports like storage, this will uh, this will definitely download the picture in your inside your uh, SSD card in your TV. But since I don't, uh, my TV does not support the SSD. Uh, yeah. All right. So if you think if you might not think that that's not your gallery or anything, this is the ga literally my gallery. Uh, this is the picture that I'm use I'm using on the Xander right now. So if I like, uh, hold on, just set the focus, it's right there. Don't worry about the colors by the way, I'm using the night mode on my iPhone 10. so yeah, I'm sorry about that. Well, 
This is the first method, so you can access your audio files, even documents, by the way. So this is this one is really important for documents. So um, yeah, this um, this method is important for documents. All right. So once you disconnect the device and you try to open anything, it will ask you for your permission once again. In this case, I'm gonna refresh the page. I'm gonna refresh the refresh the page page, and it will ask you for your permission again. And this time, since I've disconnected it, it will ask you once again. Anyways, that was the first method. Now we're on to the second one. Now, all uh, actually all these methods require a LAN connection. Uh, in this case, I'm using my Wi-Fi as a LAN connection, so you don't have to like uh, use your internet cable or anything. I'm not sure if you can actually connect an internet cable to your iPhone. Anyways, no, actually you can't. So you have to work with the Wi-Fi connection here. As I said before. Um, this is gonna be uh, two. Of the math, two of the methods will work on an app. So this is called iMedia Share. I've been using this app for like about an year and a half now, and uh, frankly, I'm not getting paid by anyone. I use these apps on daily basis. So trust me when I say these apps really work. All right, so I'm gonna try this app right here, right now, in front of you. Okay, so my TV is actually connected to my uh, router, and my phone is also connected to the same router. So bear in mind that I'm connected to the router and the LAN connection that my TV is on. Once you once you build up the app, it will show you a few options: uh, pictures, music, video, network, and also YouTube. Well, well you can do that yourself, uh, or I should make another video. Actually, I have another video. Um, I will link that below, or you can click on the card on your right to go through that video. To if you work on a uh, if you're working on the um, YouTube. If you want to mirror your YouTube to your TV, anyways. So in this case, I'm gonna go to my gallery and uh, choose an album. Okay, this is like a wallpaper album for my phone. I love anime. I like watching anime, not OV by the way. Anyways, okay. So this is like the uh, this is like my wallpaper connection. Now, just look closely. The TV is not connected to anything. Once you click on any picture that you like, it will ask you that uh, there are a few devices uh, behind you. So in this case, I have uh, my Samsung running right next to it. So once I click on it, it will automatically load the picture. And by the way, that's not it. If you if you move or uh, slide to next picture, it will go to the next picture. Trust me, it's really fun to play like this. And I know it's really easy, right? When compared to that, but in this case, you won't be uh, you won't be able to open documents like PDF files or anything. So oh yeah, all it works is like uh, audio, video, and pictures, and sometimes YouTube, also Facebook too. By the way. Only videos only, so pardon me. All right. So uh, if you slide down, uh, if the picture is like high res, it will take some time because we're working uh, on uh, on internet, like on LAN. So if you take a few seconds. So once you get go back, it will automatically close the uh, pictures. So yeah, it's really quick, by the way. Look at this one. Uh, when I click back, it will automatically close the uh, picture right behind you. And it will take you back to the original state. In this case, I'm using HDMI. So if you're using TV or anything, it will it will uh, drag you back to that. Well, all right. So uh, if you want to play music, just go to your music section, select any music that you like. In this case, I'm gonna select one song just to show you that how it works. You uh, you have to select music. So the more you select, the more it will play like a like a playlist. So in this case, I have capsize on my playlist, as and like um, on the uh, on uh, on the checklist as a play. So when you click on done, it will play that music to your TV, and uh, will be on speakers by the way. So same goes for the videos, and you can pause the video, uh, pause the audio, uh, seek the audio, even volume up the audio from your phone. Really uh, cool, isn't it? All right, so uh, we're next to the third step. Now this is gonna be really hard for some people, but trust me, if you can if you can pull this off, it's really rewarding. You can like literally do tons of work with this. Uh, if you are if you're into gaming or if you want to just play videos and stuff, you know, on a big screen. So, anyways, so you might be asking, what's the difference between this method and all the uh, previous one? Well. This one is really thorough. We'll be, we're gonna be using the screen mirroring, literally the uh, 
uh, screen mirroring feature in your uh, iPhone, on your in your iPhone. All right, so uh, in this case, I'm using my uh, uh, computer, so my TV is actually connected to my computer, and then there's a uh, software called A Power Soft. Uh, the link will be in the description box below. So if you have a laptop, then you can connect your uh, TV wirelessly or using even using HDMI cables. All right, so I'm gonna drag that software to my TV since both uh, both these uh, things are connected, both the uh, uh, monitors are connected to. I'm gonna show you how I can how will how I will be doing that. Just uh, I'm gonna drag that to up to my uh, TV right there. Anyways, now this might be a, this could uh, you could be feeling that this is really hard for, uh, but trust me, it's not. What you need is like a laptop. I know not many people actually use computers on your TV. I get it. I, I honestly get it. But if you have if you have a laptop and you can, I have tons of videos on how to connect your laptop to your TV wirelessly. This would work on your laptop too, by the way. So all you have to do is download the software on your laptop, and this will work on your laptop too, just just like it's working on my computer right now. I'm using my uh, desktop PC, so that's why it's uh, similar. So if you have a laptop or even uh, tablet, uh, Windows tablet, this will work. So once you open the software, it will literally show you that there is an Apple TV running next to you. When you click on it, it will automatically mirror your iPhone 10 or iPhone like 8, iPhone X, X, Max, you know, any iPhone that you have running on iOS 12 will connect your iPhone to your TV. Now, when you, uh, it's like it's like a mirror, like literally a mirror of your of your iPhone to your TV. Now, this could be huge for some people if you want to play PUBG Mobile, if you want to play uh, Clash of Clans, tons of other games. I get it. You can play this on your big screen and uh, you can have control on your phone or maybe you can use a uh, keyboard if your TV has a USB port, you know, it will work by the way. So yeah, this is it. Thank you so much for watching guys. And uh, you can do tons of stuff with this, honestly, like, you know, you can play YouTube videos, you can play games, you can play anything. If you have any questions about, uh, about this video or about any method, just type the method number. And then, and then your uh, question, I will, I will, uh, I will, I will answer you like as soon as possible. Well, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you find this video helpful at all, uh, just comment down below and uh, like subscribe the channel. It really helps a lot, and also like the video. And again, if you have any questions about the uh, about the any about any method, just uh, type in the comment section below. I'll get to you as soon as possible. Well. That was it. Peace out and uh, enjoy the video, I guess. We'll be, uh, I'll be showing you a few stuff here and there so you can learn about how it works. And you can also give a full screen, by the way. Yeah, that's fun. You can also record. You can do tons of stuff if you get into it. Well, I just showed you how to do it. Now it's your turn to actually try it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you... Well, I'm out. Peace out.